Here's your starting 11 here this evening. Chris Jakes makes the start. Not your typical everyday keeper. Alex Tambakis is on the bench tonight for New Mexico United. Meanwhile, let's keep an eye on Jackson Dubois. The academy player is making his professional debut tonight, 16 years of age for New Mexico United. On the other side for Lubbock, they're one of seven teams in the tournament so far that have scored multiple goals in each of their first two matches as they've scored two in each of the first two. The whistle blows, the ball gets kicked, and here we go from Rio Rancho High School in New Mexico. It's New Mexico United and Lubbock Matadors in the third round of the U.S. Open Cup. So one of the interesting parts of this match will be the fact that we're playing on an American football <laughs> surface. <laughs> Trying to distinguish which we're, line is which might be a little bit difficult. Yeah, we, we were getting a little confused during the warm-ups, <laughs> but uh, I think we're a little more, more confident with it now. It's going to be a, a challenge for both teams, so it's going to be important to see how which team settles down best on this surface. Obviously, New Mexico are the home team, but they're not playing in their home stadium, so it could almost feel a little bit like an away game for them because they don't have that familiarity of the surface, the dimensions. So that's a, that could actually play into the, the hands of Lubbock and be a, a neutralizer for both teams. New Mexico wearing their velocity kits. It's the debut of those kits, so it's a lighter color jerseys. Lubbock on the other side with the red and black. Here's an early shot attempt. Swinging that one in and trickling it out wide in the end was Reyes. Lubbock has played a couple dramatic matches so far in this tournament as well. They've overcome a deficit as well as scored at the very end of matches to put things away in their first two wins. They are here because of a performance against Arizona Monsoon where they scored in the waning moments and then won it an extra time in the 119th minute to take down the Monsoon. And then a 2-0 win over 4-0. Martinez scoring in the 71st and Suzaki adding one in the third minute of added time. That was a really good opportunity there from New Mexico in the opening two minutes of the game. Reyes makes the running behind. He actually had a little bit more time than he imagined. He didn't need to take the shot so early. Could have brought it down and probably picked his corner, but good intent from New Mexico creating that goal screen opportunity in the opening two minutes of the game. It's the second time that New Mexico have played on this surface. They also did so last season once in the Open Cup, as this is their fourth appearance in the U.S. Open Cup. Last year, the weather was brutal. 50 mile per hour wind gusts, much better here today. Sunny skies as we wind into twilight here this evening. Here's Dubois, what a great touch by the 16-year-old. He finds himself in plenty of space. Dubois with a magical run, slides it out wide left. This ball fired into the 18. The header gets knotted down and it's controlled by Owen Jack in the end. The keeper does well to, to hold on to that. As you can see, the sun is starting to drop, so it's in the eyes of the goalkeepers. But he did well to keep his eyes, but something to mention here for, for teams like Lubbock as they progress through the rounds, of course, last year's final was Inter Miami and Houston Dynamo, and who wouldn't amateur players want to be mouthwatering an opportunity to compete against the likes of Lionel Messi and some of the top players? Albeit not without the yard lines. That ball falls into space, and danger here! Owen oh, Jack alertly funnels that away. Nearly catastrophic with Daniel Bruce hustling it. Ball just creeps away here a little bit, tries to toe poke it. Bruce sharp reacts, but Jack in goal ever so quick to react to it and keeps his team in the game. Could have been a disastrous goal to give away so early in the fixture. They're gonna have to defend this corner kick well. Again, New Mexico elects to play it backwards. Cycles it out, Akale. This ball thrown in, and the whistle has the flag up for offside. Well, Owen Jack is a solid keeper, 23 years of age, spent time at Stetson and Vermont, was in Birmingham Legion's camp in the preseason. That's a USL championship team, eventually did not get signed there, but Birmingham has two players 30 years of age or older within their group as keepers already, so did not make the group, still looking for a chance to play professionally. And this would be a great showcase for him to get that pro contract. Yeah, and goalkeepers normally have a, a little bit of a longer shelf life than outfield players. You know, not goalkeepers can generally play very close to 40. If you're an outfield player and you, you get to, to 40, you're, you're one of a, a, a small number. But for goalkeepers, they generally peak more towards their latter 20s. So he has a lot of time. Look at 
Minnesota. Gets fouled. Just look at Eric Quill, the third head coach in New Mexico's history. Excellent turn here from Jones. Suzaki keeps his head up. Suzaki breaks down a defender, finds space, cuts it back, and somehow Jones misses the mouth. Picks out the middle. Reyes, defender on his backside, flings it over. Swartz. Puts it backwards, flicked in. Excellent ball. Ooh. Bruce. He's offside. Intelligent running. Great technical ability to be able to find that pass over the top of the defense, but just went a little bit too early and found himself offside, but brilliant uh, connection and chemistry there between these two players. Ooh, by... I don't think he is offside. If yeah. you look at the, yeah. the right side defender, he's a good yard behind him. I think that's a huge let off for Lubbock there, and New Mexico can definitely feel hard done by it. Obviously, the, the match officials don't have access to the replays like we do, but... So you would think that it would make an official's job a little bit easier playing on a football field because you do get the <laughs> line markers to be able to see where somebody is. Definitely. Here's Bruce, trying a bicycle kick there. Bruce has been, he's been very active in the, the opening phases of this half, opening 15 minutes. Had one or two opportunities himself, created a couple for others. Definitely a player Lubbock are going to want to shut down and reduce the amount of time he has in the attacking third to get his head up and pick passes or get shots off on goal. First and foremost, you want to advance in the Open Cup. You want to be in the draw for the next round. And uh, they're going to need to do a little bit more than what they're doing now to ensure that they're there. Certainly nil-nil in halftime would be a win for Lubbock. Especially, as you mentioned, Marco, Michael, and where they are in their preparation, how long this group has been together training, they haven't had the, the luxury or the, the length of time that New Mexico have, because I believe that. Here's a good ball, Akale. Nobody there on the initial pass. Dubois was hustling. Here's a chance. Jack pushes it away. Long distance shot trickles wide left from Reyes. It's loose and taken in the end by Hernandez. I feel like there's one more chance before halftime, right? Akale. Splits two, makes it past the third. Behind Reyes in the end, Reyes hits the left woodwork. Has his head up, picks the right pass. Great first touch here from Reyes. Tries to curl it into the corner of his left foot and it's inches away from giving them the lead with the last kick of the first half. Maybe get some fresh legs on there and see if you can get yourself the go-ahead goal. But so far, it's been a, a good night for Lubbock so far. Let's see if they can take it up a notch in the second half. And there is your first half whistle. So indeed, we do go into halftime. Getting ready to kick off. That match is about 25 minutes away from kickoff, but the second half here is underway. It's New Mexico and light jerseys. Swartz. Again. All the way across the channels it goes. Looks like defensively, Lubbock is going to be more than content with picking and choosing their moments and making things hard here for the home side. Tight ball sent in. Excellent touch. How does that one miss? They're, they're dictating the spaces where they're allowing New Mexico to play. So they're playing a different kind, type of game. And in all fairness, 60 minutes in, they've been fairly successful. Rivas. Here's Bruce, bending it through. It's deflected by Swartz. New Mexico finally has the first goal of the night. It comes in the 58th minute by the New Mexico veteran, Harry Swartz. Commentators jinx, Michael, obviously. Just talking about how well Lubbock had defended, but when we get to see this back again, you will see that Bruce's first touch out his feet into space breaks this opportunity. Ball's played centrally here to New Mexico. Goals change games, so that will give them the momentum and the confidence now to go on a little bit, a little bit more aggressive in the attacking third. Bruce has a second. 
Within 60 seconds, New Mexico scores yet again. And it's free, free flowing now for the home side. I think I, only, I can only describe his finish from Bruce as rude. <laughs> so rude and disrespectful. He, he, his finish freezes everybody, including myself. It's a little bit unexpected. The build-up play is good. Connection here between Reyes, but he gets it out of his feet, sees the keeper of his line, and just dinks him with the most disrespect ever. Silences the fans. New Mexico now in clean control of this game due to a five-minute turnaround has flipped the game on his head. 2-0 in the lead. Take 2-0 may as well be 6-0, so they've got to be expensive and try and get themselves back into this game. Call it. Shoots this one! Wow! What a goal that is! And the floodgates have opened for New Mexico! Absolutely sensational from Aquile Akale! What a change of fortune. I don't know how I feel about this free kick. I need to see the replay to know whether he meant it or whether he missed it and just caught the goalkeeper on away. But that's the nail in the coffin game. Amateurs were going to be able to find a little bit of confidence and rhythm. The second half, perhaps a little bit too much defending at the beginning, couldn't gain any possession of the ball. New Mexico had time and space to make their choices, and they eventually made the right one. And that led to two more after that. And perhaps the game might open up now. It was a Bruce was was a, a thorn or a threat in the first half. We spoke about the goal that got disallowed. That maybe should have stood but made no mistake in his five minute spell in the second half here's a long shot that shakes knocks down luka moda a good effort that time around shakes with the shaky ball handling in that situation shot fizzed in from distance here from mota shakes will be glad he didn't see that one roll out of his hands, through his legs, and into the back of the net. The last thing that New Mexico could afford was to give away a cheap one. I just wonder if Lubbock has any gas left in the tank. We mentioned no Salvador Martinez in the starting 11. Coach Paul Gilbert called him a special player, two goals in this tournament already. He's one of the 21 players in the tournament with multiple goals entering he round three. But has to be played. carrying an injury not to be out there. And it's obviously it's devastating not to have your, your most clinical goal scorer out there, especially when you're the under, underdogs in this competition. Full kick. The second half that has been completely dominated. New Mexico, they have 75% of the possession, eight to one shot advantage. Still a little bit of time left though. You'd like to see uh, Lubbock go out fighting, see if they can get themselves on the score sheet. There's a long shot thrown in by Lottie. Nice ball control there on his chest and good footwork to create the, the, the opportunity to have the shot, but just doesn't catch it as clean as he might have liked. Zion Andrade. Andrade. One of the subs, as well as Tufik Najim, that have come in for Lubbock. The 2024 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup delivers more heroics and heartbreak tomorrow night. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern on watch.usopen.com, uslsoccer.com, and mlssoccer.com. Visit usopencup.com for the full schedule and breakdowns of all of the action. Who do we have tomorrow, Michael? Miami United, <laughs> still in the hat. You still feel like uh, one of those amateur sides can come away. Miami United, El Farolito up with something on the USL championship teams in there as well. This ball played forward. Okay, uh, circles. Doesn't get that one through.
Williams eludes. Jim in the middle. And now, one sprint coming. Bailey glides it out. McCauley pokes it. Here's Bailey. She goes it wide left. Didn't get all of that one. He chops this ball, gets it back. Bailey debates. Glides it back. And Lottie throws it in. The flag up here. Reyes will not be given this one. It was a good step and a half in front of the final defender there. Phenomenal, delicate, tough touch to finish it off, but you can see Reyes probably marginally offside here. Again, it, it would be a real. Nicoletto. Nicoletto finds some real estate here. Moves it around. It is brought down. Reyes a chance. Jack this time gets in there to block it away. This is where you see the, the quality showing now. Micheletta, fantastic here to, to get this ball under control. Then he just hangs that ball up at the back post to Reyes. Good first touch from Reyes, but pick the far corner. He just hits it straight at the goalkeeper's left foot. He just needed to slot it into the far corner in the fourth goal. He would have got himself in the goal sheet. He's had a, a few opportunities tonight to get himself in the score sheet. Hasn't quite been able to do it as yet, but he finds himself in dangerous areas consistently. Zico Bailey. Oh, she sends it out. Sasaki. Sasaki takes on Herbert again successfully. He gets thrown to the ground. We spoke about the, the threat of Sasaki and here Flanagan has been no pushover at all uh, tonight. Sasaki, I think he's a player that some clubs may want to see a little bit more of as they go forward because players who have that ability to take players. Shuma Suzaki looking to get Lubbock on the board, and he does so. Shuma Suzaki scores for the second time in the tournament, and Lubbock gets one here in the 90th minute. Cool, calm, and composed penalty kick here from Suzaki. He wins it himself. Brilliant 1v1 attacking play against Flanagan. Grabs hold of the ball, takes care of it, buries it into the upper left-hand corner of the keeper. Unfortunately, the disparity in the, in the levels where these two teams compete made the difference in the end. Four minutes of stoppage time here in the second half. Uh, one goal for Lubbock at least gives them a thought that perhaps rejuvenates them here. Here's Luca Moda. Began in the Brazil Pro Academies, had two ACL injuries. And he wants to be a broadcaster one day, so maybe he'll be on the call <laughs> for this Open Cup one day. Oh, Here's a chipping oh, shot. Oh. It goes wide in the end. Jones has missed a couple wide right. Maybe the last kick of the match here. And there it is. The full-time whistle blows. And a lightning 